Hi everybody, Patrick here coming to you from the rooftop of my home on this uh, grey and sad day to talk about stuff that Fujifilm didn't really get right. And if at any point of this video you feel like frustration and anger coming up and you feel like the need to smash something, then you know what? I have something for you. You can always smash that like and subscribe button below. I promise you, you'll feel instantly better, okay? Look, there are lots of things that Fujifilm didn't get right, big things. And I've written a dedicated article in the past about it on Fuji Rumors. For example, they kept their X mount closed and didn't allow third party lens manufacturers to join for a very long time. That was a capital error. Or they launched the X-T3 with new sensor and processor six months after they launched the X-H1 with old processor and sensors. But I don't want to focus on the big things today because, you know, those big things were big errors, but there was at least some thinking behind it, some thought behind it. For example, they thought by protecting the X mount, they will sell more XF lenses. I understand also that they thought the XT and XH line are so different that even if we launch the new XT3 six months after the XH1, it won't affect the sales of the XH1, which was evidently wrong. But today I don't want to focus on these big errors. I want to focus on three errors that they made that have absolutely no logic. They are just plain stupid. So let's start with number one. Fujifilm has this super high-end flagship X-H2 and X-H2S. They are amazing. They can do tons of stuff. They are top of the line. And on those cameras, on the PSAM dial, Fujifilm decided to print filter on it filter those um, advanced filters pop color miniature effects so somehow fujifilm thought that would be relevant for us so with everything they could have printed on it they printed filter so i at my advice for fujifilm whenever a new xh camera comes out remove that filter and put something way more useful on it okay number two that's my XF10 to 24mm f4 and it's a wonderful lens. I've taken tons of images with it and it has a nice aperture ring and it's a constant f4 zoom. So I will forever wonder why they didn't mark it. There is no marking here on this aperture ring. I mean, that should be there. And in fact, when they came out with the Mark II version, they put the markings on the lens, on the aperture ring. And I have no idea why they didn't make it in the first place on this lens. So remains one of the big mysteries how this product could come out like this. Number three is the camera remote app. And look, the app itself would be worth an own video and I don't want to do that here. I just want to focus on one single small aspect that shows you how, which stupid errors Fujifilm is capable to do with this app. It seems like they design it to annoy us more and more. Now, I use this app since it was born, so to say. Like the very first version, which had this white theme with black letters, was very simple, was already flawed. <laughs> uh, and then they promised up a new app. And we waited for that app. And everything that the new app was, was a graphic redesign. For the worst, because they switched for, from the white theme to a dark team with dark gray letters. So everything they did was to take a flawed app and make it even more difficult to use by making it more unreadable with this dark gray letter on a dark team. And over time they have improved that a little bit, but I still find the original app, the old one, was way easier to read than this one. Now, and just to be clear, these are obviously three minor errors that Fujifilm did with their system compared to the major big errors that they did over time. And even the big errors that they did over time, in my opinion, are still minor compared to the things they got right in their system, yeah? Because there is tons of stuff to love about the Fujifilm system. But we talk good about the system all the time on Fujirumus and on this YouTube channel. So I thought I'd point out these three minor things. And if you want to see uh, three major errors that I think Fujifilm did over time, then you can check out the article on Fujirumus that I also linked down below. So that was it on this gray and sad day here on Magre on the road of wine, which is the town where I live, which by the way, I've made a video about it. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. And um, stay tuned for the next videos where we will talk about again about exciting stuff, about good stuff, about positive stuff. And we will go online very shortly. So like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and see you in the next video. Goodbye and have a wonderful day. Ciao.